welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about NIH study found toxic protein linked to muscular dystrophy and arrhythmia. Researchers at the National Institutes of Health and colleagues have found that a toxic protein made by the body called DUX4 may be the cause of two very different rare genetic disorders. For patients who have facio-scalpulo-humeral muscular dystrophy or FSHD or a rare facial malformation called arrhythmia, this research discovery may eventually lead to therapies that can help people with these rare diseases. FSHD type 2 is an inherited form of muscular dystrophy that causes progressive muscle weakness. Arrhenia in an extremely rare yet severe disorder that prevents the development of an external nose and the olfactory bulbs and tracts. Both diseases are caused by mutations in the SMCHD1 gene. In patients with FSHD2, there is overproduction of DUX4, which kills the muscle cells and this leads to the progressive weakening of the muscles. The team found that the combination of the mutated SMCHD1 gene and an environmental modifier such as a virus may trigger the DUX4 toxic protein. This may be what causes arrhythmia to occur. Using stem cells created from patients with these two diseases, the researchers conducted studies in cranial placard cells, the cells that lead to the development of the body's sensory organs such as the nose. As the placard cells started to form, they began to produce the DUX4 protein which caused cell death. The researchers showed that DUX4 is responsible for cell death in placard cells as it is in muscle cells, but they still do not understand why the nose cells do not die in muscular dystrophy or why the muscle cells are not dying in arrhythmia. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.